group it is a very big space here okay so if you're wanting to close space already clean check is kind of showing you the overjet is going to increase nothing wrong with that that's fine i would have probably done less ipr because it if it's showing you this overjet might as well uh, then reduce the ipr i don't think you need this much okay the only thing is do not expect again 16 aligners is nothing i would at least double it um do not expect that the teeth are going to go from here to there without side effects and tipping so you must have attachments on both these teeth and we are expecting that they're going to tip right they're going to tip mesially both of them are going to if if we did nothing they're going to look like this okay no matter what you do so at the end i'm gonna have to do something like that or ask the technicians to move these teeth bodily um, per aligner and then every alternate aligner add um, some sort of uh, sorry mesial root tip or distal crown tip to correct because as the tooth moves mesially it's going to tip like this okay so each time we move it mesially we need to apply anti -cor uh, the correction okay so to push it to this way right so about one degree or two degree per line i'm going to ask them so that means already those 16 aligners are going to double okay with the ipr i think i'd be reducing the ipr i don't think you need that much uh, other than that i think the other things are fine you've got a bit of a class three elastic i think nothing wrong with that that's fine it's only needed at night and better to keep it light and minimal um so by light and minimal i mean just fox at night time um and then again i'd be changing the one two attachments because they can get squeezed into the aligner if you don't have an attachment on them so one two and then what else i'm gonna change i think i'll just have a look at other attachments and movements in detail and maybe i have to change some of these optimized to conventional but i'll have a look so space closure can be done you need a lot more liners and also at the end even with all the correction they can look a bit tip like this okay you might actually end up getting both these teeth looking a bit tipped so you do need a couple more refinements also you can get gingival bunching and contouring here as it as the patient's teeth are moving closer together especially here as well okay so if you imagine how much space there is as they're being moved you can get like gingival hypertrophy here it may need uh, gingival contouring or laser reduction or some sort of gingivectomy here okay it's quite common in such massive space closures um, especially if we go fast so i would even say 10 day changes okay um, i think seven to ten days is fine as but if you start seeing a lot of bunching here slow down the changes it's just the gingiva also needs time to remodel as the teeth are coming close together all right so i'll work on this and i'll